Hi everyone. Okay, let's provide a solution to this problem. Y plus square root of y equals two. By looking at this question, you are expected to know the value of y. But imagine if you are to solve it, maybe in a a theory section that you're supposed to solve it. What would you do? So sit back and look at the steps. And if you were the one, would you use the same step I'm going to use? Just sit and watch. Now, what I want to do is to remove this y from here. So I'll have y plus square root of y. Oh, since I want to remove this y, let me subtract y from the left. Then on the right, I'll have 2 minus y as well. Now, this and this can go because they have the same sign. I mean, they have different signs. Positive, negative. I'll have y, root y. Now, equals 2 minus y. So, I want to remove square root from here. Oh, I have written the square root again. So, to remove that, I will have to square it. Then, I will have 2 minus y. Since I already squared the left, I must square the right hand side. Okay, um, a reminder, if you have not subscribed to my channel, subscribe so you can get access to more of my videos. Now, this is going to take this away. So, we have y that is now 2 minus y into 2 minus y. Now, let's arrange it in a way that everybody can understand. These two will multiply everything here. So you can write your 2. Then we have this one, 2 minus y. Here we have minus y. It's going to go into 2 minus 1. So we have 2 minus 1. Close this. Let's open the brackets. y will now be 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times minus y is minus 2y, then minus y times 2 is minus 2y, minus y times minus y will give plus y squared. Okay, if you are still following and you have not subscribed, then something is wrong. Okay, y is equal to 4, then minus 2y minus 2y is going to be minus 4y. Then we have y squared. Now, the law says, or oh, it is only normal that the one with the highest power appears first. So, I'm going to write this first as y squared, followed by minus 4y. Then, this y is going to meet with this one, so it becomes negative y. Then, 4 is in its place, so we write 4. And there's nothing on the right, so we have 0. Now, from here, we have y squared minus, put these two together, you have 5y, then plus 4 equals 0. And I still want us to solve this using the formula, quadratic formula. Okay, to use the formula, you have to know your value of a, b, c. a is 1 b is minus 5 and c is positive 4. Now I will explain that. a is the coefficient of the first letter, the first variable, which is y squared, right? Then b is the coefficient of y, that is minus 5, and c is the only constant in the equation. Now the next thing to do is to get your formula y is minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac and then we divide by 2 times a this is called quadratic general formula and it's called general formula because it can be used to solve every quadratic equation okay now let's go ahead and substitute into the formula so y will now be minus b of minus, then minus 5. This negative is out, and b itself is negative 5. 
we have plus or minus then we have b squared which is going to be minus 5 minus 5 squared then minus 4 times 1 times c as c is 4 then we divide this by by 2 times 1 now our y is equal to negative negative we give positive then plus or minus minus 5 squared is going to give us 25 then minus 4 times 1 times 4 is 16 then we divide all of this by 2 okay let's continue okay so our y now will be 5 plus or minus square root of 25 minus 16 is going to give us 9 right but then imagine if you you know get the square root of each of them before subtracting that means we'll be having um we would have been having 5 minus 4 because square root of 5 is 4 square um square root of um, 25 is 5 and square root of 16 is 4 5 minus 4 1 and that is not correct so the first thing you do if you have this kind of problem is to simplify what you have you know under the root before finding the square root so this is still over 2 now our y is 5 plus or minus square root of 9 is 3 and we divide by by 2 so to go ahead with this our y will now be 5 plus 3 over 2 or 5 minus 3 over 2 now y is 5 plus 3 is 8 over 2 or 2 over 2 to go ahead our y will be 8 divided by 2 is 4 or 2 divided by 2 is 1 but obviously both of them will not satisfy the equation what is the equation again our equation is y plus square root of y equals 2 right if i put if i put 4 here it's already more than 2 so this 4 here has to be rejected right but if you put one here you have one plus square root of one and that is one plus one and that is equal to two so the only solution is y equals one so if you love the way i explained this um subscribe to my channel so that i can get more of my interesting videos thank you